just ignore the empty shelves in the background because I'm getting new ones very soon. I'm so excited. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone! Yes, I'm in a dressing gown because it's cold, because it's winter, and I love winter, but it is also a very, 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 very cold day today. It has been snowing and raining. It's just cold, so I'm keeping warm. So it's been a while since I've done a video on here that hasn't been a vlog or a live stream. And I thought it was probably about time that I filmed my June TBR, considering it is almost the middle of June. Now in June, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. I didn't get a lot of reading done in Ma and March. I didn't get a lot of reading done in May. <sighs> so anyway, let's just get into what this video is all about. Cards Against Books. <laughs> if you don't already know, I have created a TBR game called Cards Against Books to help me pick books to read each month. This is based on the card game Cards Against Humanity. I started this in April of 2020. I absolutely love doing this. I think it's so much fun and you know I have my own special cards for it so I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Basically I pick a black card and a white card, two of each, and then I have to pick which one I want to actually read. <laughs> now because everything is chaotic at the moment I have taken out the pet pick and the uh, asking a friend for a recommendation because I just don't have the time right now or the space to film anything so it's been kind of chaotic and I'm sort of kind of like going off just and because this is such an impromptu video like I, I have to call those two because those two require me filming in advance and contacting these people in advance um, so anyway basically going to do this one like I did the last month which was where I sort of drew the cards and then picked off my TBR card because as you can see I have no books in the background. I am going to actually choose two this time instead of just the one which I did last month. I'm very sorry about how chaotic it has been. <laughs> I am hopefully going to be back to normal with this game hopefully next month. We'll see. Also, also, I will be participating in whatever a thon, which is a readathon hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog. But as I go through the books that I'm picking for these like particular cards that I'm choosing, I'll tell you which cards, which books are going to fit which prompts on the whatever a thon prompts list. I am also part. I'm, I'm going to be part of the um, Comrades of Chaos team which I'm very excited for. That is pretty much any genre that doesn't fit in the other aforementioned genres in the various different teams. It's pretty much like classics, historical fiction, that sort of thing, thrillers, crime, you know, anything that doesn't fit in the other teams. So let's just get into it before we run out of time. Picking my first black card, which is, would you know, historical fiction. That is under 400 pages. Okay, that could be interesting. Or a sci-fi from a color wheel. So with this one that basically just means that I pick a color wheel, just like a random color generator and have to pick one that matches, have to pick a book that matches that color. I think that's going to be a little bit hard considering I don't have a lot of sci-fi on my TBR card and all my books are still packed away. So I think I'm going to go for the historical fiction that's under 400 pages. Let's see if I can find one on my TBR card. Oh, actually, I do have a Kim Kelly book. As you know, Kim Kelly is one of my favourite authors. This is her newest one. Oh my god, what do you know? It is... 285 pages. I did not know it was that short. I'm going to pick this one for the historical fiction that's under 400 pages, which works very well for Comrades of Chaos because historical fiction is a genre for that. So let me just go through the prompts where I've got the, um, the list. 
Um, so we have one of the prompts will be I think a five star prediction. I think that could work for five star prediction. The next one is sci fi again. For some reason wants me to read sci fi this month. No. <laughs> um, that is a recent purchase. Or a romance. That is over 500 pages. Okay, why? Just why? <laughs> I don't know if I have a romance that's over 500 pages or a sci-fi that's a recent purchase. Um, what do I have on here? I mean, I could read Red Rising, but it's not really a recent purchase. I've had that on my shelves for quite a while. Um, I know I had... Spinning it around this side. What do I have on this one? Oh, oh, oh! Are you over 500 pages? Please, please say you are. Oh my God, so close. 425. Okay, well then, that's a no. What do I have down the bottom? I don't think I have anything that counts as the romance. And I might have to tweak it a little bit for the sci-fi. Well, I do have this one, which is The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. This is kind of like a sequel to, uh, oh God, The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. So I could possibly go with that. I also have Dark Matter. These are probably the two most recent ones. So Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. However, I don't know if I'm in the mood to have my head messed with. Um, oh God, I don't know. Which, which ones? Hmm. Let me have a look at the prompts <laughs> again. So, I mean, there is out of your comfort zone, which is possible because I don't read a lot of sci-fi and that's probably out of my comfort zone. And especially with Dark Matter, that could count. Um, fit a TBR game prompt is another one. You know what? I might go with The Quiet at the End of the World because it seems like more of a romantic sci-fi type one. Um, and it is a little bit shorter, I think. It's like, oh, they might be around about the same. Yeah. Yeah, then they're still over 300 pages. So I think I might go with The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. Which, like I said, will also fit the TBR game prompt. Or the Out of Your Comfort Zone, or both. Probably both, because it's, it's good to get in more than one prompt. So out of your comfort zone and fit a TBR game prompt. Okay, round three. We have a middle grade. That is from the color wheel again. Or a fantasy. That is a recent purchase. I need to shuffle these better. I don't really want to do the colour wheel. I might do the fantasy that was a recent purchase. Uh, what do I want to read? I do have the City of Brass, which is one I kind of wanted to put on my TBR. Uh, what else do we have? Oh god, I'm going to knock oh my card over. I mean, I think this is probably the closest with the recent purchase. I don't really have much that I've purchased recently. I do have the 10,000 Doors of January, which I think is kind of a fantasy, which I have really been wanting to read, and I think the cover is just stunning. I do think The City of Brass is quite long, it's over 400 pages, whereas the 10,000 Doors of January is like uh, almost 400, so it's like 300 and something pages. You know what? I think I might go with the 10,000 Doors of January. I feel like it's a little bit shorter. It's got a beautiful cover, so I think it might match a prompt. I think it could fit the um, cover with your team color prompt or maybe hold in the last year. So hold in the last year, I think we will add for that particular prompt. So we're going to go with 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. And the last round. Do you guys like it better when I do the clips of me 
doing the cards beforehand because I do like doing that better. I think I'll do that again from July and onwards, but this is just quicker and easier considering I don't have a lot of time at the moment. Okay, so we have a young adult that is... This just keeps coming up. Why? I shuffled more this time. So a young adult that's on the colour wheel. Or a free pick. That will probably make me cry. I do not know with this one. Because there are so many that could make me cry. But I don't know. You know what? I really want to reread Pride and Prejudice this month by Jane Austen. This is the manga edition of Pride and Prejudice and I really want to read it. I'm putting this on this particular prompt because it will probably make me cry with happiness because I love it so much. I don't know. I may not cry. I may cry. Who knows? But I love Pride and Prejudice. It makes me so happy and I could be crying with laughter because some of the illustrations in this are absolutely fantastic. So you know what? I'm putting Pride and Prejudice on this TBR. I don't care what anyone says. I don't know. I just feel like I need to read it for my birthday month. It's my favourite book. One of my favourite books. I just, I have to read it. <laughs> and it also coincides with a prompt from whatever a -thon, which is the cover with your team colour, which is pink. So it just works out perfectly. Hello, editing Kayla here. I thought I would just quickly do this while I am currently editing the TBR video. But I forgot one book that I was meant to put on my TBR, which is Chosen, which is the third House of Night book, which we will be reading in the month of June for the Redbird read along. There's gonna be a live show most likely in July, but I forgot to put Chosen on there. So Chosen, book three in House of Night series, going to be reading that for Redbird read along. Also, I forgot to do descriptions of these books. Don't mind me, I'm just having a very chaotic time at the moment, but I'll get back on track. But I forgot to do the I forgot to do descriptions. I forgot to put chosen on my TBR. There you go. That's my update. I'll let you get back to the video. <laughs> There you go guys, they are the four books that I'm hopefully planning on reading in the month of June. I really like doing this TBR game, it really gets me motivated to actually read when I can pick prompts for myself. So I think this is the perfect list. We have historical fiction, we have a classic, we have a sci-fi, and we have a kind of fantasy type thing. So I'm very excited to read these, and I think they will all come under the genre for Comrades of Chaos, I think. Either way, I'm very, very excited to read these. I think it's going to be a good month. Birthday month. It's winter. I'm excited. So apologies for this video being so late, but you know how it is. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these books. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a little balloon emoji, I guess, because, you know, it's my birthday this month, <laughs> so why not? So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, which I hope is a little bit less chaotic. See you guys in the next one. Bye!